guys, what's up? Okay, so I use my Nivea lip butter, and I use it a lot, but it's really messed up in the pan. I do not know why. I just bought it like that, whatever. And then I use my serum, olive oil serum. I love this stuff. And it really makes my skin really soft and supple, and it gives me the vitamins and nutrients I need for my bare face. And then I use my moisturizer with SPF. Obviously, you do need SPF because you don't want to have those dark spots all over your face. And then you use, I use my Makeup Forever HD Primer. I smelled it and I do not know why and it smells weird. Don't mind me, I am weird like that. I don't smell everything, I swear. And then I use my Malay Primer, obviously, in the color light. It's really yellow and it really, really makes my eyes brighter. I love this stuff. I use stuff seriously every day. And then, obviously, just buff it in. And then I use my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Of course, the high points of your face. Then I use my MAC concealer and I usually put it around my eyes and the areas I don't have concealer on just to have an all over concealed face. Now I'm using the Anastasia Contour Kit and usually for this palette right now I am obsessed with putting the, the banana color which obviously you see right there and I put it on the highlight points of my face so it'll just stay longer and it'll just stay highlighted and I won't get oily. Duh, obviously. And then I'm taking just a primer and I'm just going to put it all around my eyes but before I do anything else with my face I usually put this Pantene BB cream all over my hair since I just got out of the shower and usually I don't put products in my hair but when I do and when my hair is more on the dry side I usually put this on it usually helps next I'm using painterly as we all know let me show you how crazy I use this look at that look at that oh my gosh I use a lot of product I use stuff every single day but I love the color, you know? And then I use the contour kit again. And I'm just going to contour this the stuff that I need to be sunken in, obviously. So you're just going to shade in the cheekbones, you know, just try to contour. I still need practice on contouring. I still don't know what I'm doing half the time. And then obviously I am just going to go to my forehead. Come on, Sam, go to your forehead. Oh, okay, well, I guess I'm going to go around my cheekbones to make my high points pop. Okay, and then obviously my forehead, because I think I have a five head or ten head. Uh, whatever, doesn't matter to me. I'm kind of used to it. All right, time for the brows. And I got this from Benefit, I believe. It looks horrible because I dropped it when I first got it, so I lost a lot of product. So I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows. My eyebrows are pretty thick anyways. It doesn't really need a lot of filling, but I really do need to fill in my eyebrows because there are a lot of sparse areas, especially like in the beginning of my brows. But I don't like that part really, really defined. And now I'm just gonna take any old spoolie. This is from the Anastasia uh, pencil thingy. And then I'm just gonna blend in my stuff and then I'm gonna use my gel from Anastasia I love Anastasia as you can tell for my brows and I'm just gonna glue those suckers on because usually my eyebrows are seriously crazy and now I'm gonna highlight under my brow I don't know it just completes my brow look my brow routine I really don't know what my brow routine yet but of course I'm still looking for more products and maybe I'll do a video on my brows Maybe one day. I don't know. I gotta get them waxed soon. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna just, you know, with my fingers, I'm gonna blend out. I don't know. Using fingers is just so much better with this product. 
And now I'm gonna outline my eyeballs. Well, obviously I'm gonna use eyeliner and black track. As you all know, I use this stuff a lot, as you can see. And I'm gonna do my classic signature look, my winged eyeliner look. Now I'm going to take my Lorac Pro palette, and this is the cutest palette ever. All right, so I'm going to take a little brush like this, and I'm going to take this pretty, pretty blue color. I'm not a big fan of blue, but I need to start somewhere to like blue. So I usually just use it with eyeliner to make a little pop when I'm having a basic day for my eyeliner look. But yeah, make your eyes whiter also. Now just to be different, I use NYX liner. What is this? Liquid liner? There you go. It's a blue liner. And I'm just gonna put it between the blue and the black just for a little surprise on the eyeliner. I just pretty much put this eyeliner on just to give this look just a, maybe a little bit more flair. I don't know. It's just something different from what I do. Curling my lashes now. Oh yeah, you go Glen Coco. All right, now I'm not a big fan of curling my lashes because I look like a weirdo and my eyes and like balls and chains right now. But I am gonna use my favorite mascara, Better Than Sex Mascara. I love this stuff, but lately it's been clumping on me and it's drying and I don't know what to do and I'm gonna cry soon because I spend so much money on this. Boo hoo me. But I have my backup. I love, love, love this mascara. It is so pretty and all I remember it has that cheetah stuff on the lid I don't know but I need more of this and I love love the brush and I'm just putting it on my lower lash and then what am I using I didn't really like I didn't show you the nude liner that I put earlier but I didn't like it so I'm just gonna put a black liner so I can actually go with the look it didn't go look at how it doesn't really go with the look but the black goes so much better you know Okay, blush time. So I'm gonna use Mally's blush. Oh, I love this blush. It's so pretty and it has a slight shimmer on it. I love blushes with a little shimmer on it. It just makes me look like a Barbie doll sometimes. Not that I'm saying I am a Barbie doll, but you know. All right, so tell me why. I thought the blue was a little too smoky and it was really bottom heavy. So I just took a brown color, I think it was called Cocoa in the Lorac 2 palette, and I just pop it onto my crease area. I made it really, really smoky to make sure my bottom lid is less heavy. And then I'm just making it really, really smoky right now. So pretty much it's like a smoky look. <laughs> I don't know, I just went along with it. Obviously my eyes actually look better. Neutral smoky look with a pop blue liner. Okay, so I'm gonna use Kind of Sexy from MAC and then I'm just gonna put all over my lips as usual. Just a nude, regular nude lip. Nothing too fancy, nothing too punch in the face, not red lip or nothing because this is a very smoky look. Well, the camera really doesn't do its justice but in real life it was pretty, pretty dark. And then I'm gonna use my Naked Streak Lip Gloss obviously my favorite lip combo and then i'm just going to put it around obviously it looks nice hello my lips are too nice all right guys thank you for watching and have a good day see you later bye